Good morning. Let's get ready for work. So I'm starting out looking like Whoopi Goldberg or somebody in the color purple. We're going to get this together real quick with some shining jam and water. Miss those edges. And uh, I'm going to try to lay, uh, lay my edges before getting in the shower here. I even kind of scope the edges a little bit. Normally that's not my thing. I think I just did it to be fancy for the video. Um, but yeah, I just, this is the only place I put gel on my hair. I take a small tooth comb, a fine tooth comb, and just kind of lay them out how I want them and tie them down. Unfortunately on this day, um, my edges did, you know, look nice when I left the house, but by the time I got to the office, they were not laid down. This was a waste of my time. Anyway, um, tied them down with a, a do-rag and a bonnet. And I actually went in with a third scarf. Like, I was really trying to have lay edges and it didn't work. But that's okay. Maybe Eco Styler would work better, but that tends to flake more too. And I just don't like product build up so I usually go with shine and jam so once I got out of the shower I didn't take uh, the do-rag off but I did take off the uh, scarf of the bonnet as you can see and got into this makeup I don't usually do a full face of makeup for work um, I would like to but my time management is often not set up for that so I did a little primer today, which is also something. Listen, I'm doing all kinds of stuff for this video. Uh, so then I move on to my brows using that Maybelline Tattoo Brow Pomade Business. Um, I do my brows every day, whether I'm wearing any other makeup or not. At the very least, I will do my brows. So we just fill them in. Once I get a nice little fill in I jump over and clean them up with concealer here I'm using LA girl pro conceal it's five bucks at CVS or anywhere might be cheaper at Walmart I usually clean up the bottom and the top I just like precision but also I'm usually in such a hurry when I leave work I just do all kinds of craziness with my brows and leave the house Anyway, I think I did a pretty decent job on this day. And after cleaning up the brows, I go in with makeup or foundation. Today I'm using MAC Studio Fix Liquid Foundation in the color NC46. Um, I found out that's a good color for me in the summer. NC45 is my winter color. I prefer um, Estee Lauder Double Wear though. All right, so I wet my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, dot my face with foundation, and then um, blend it out. <clears throat> Obviously, this video is sped up, but it's important that you take time to blend your makeup. Put it in all the right places. Don't have your face and neck look in different colors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Although I'm standing in front of a mirror, I use that handheld because I'm not wearing contacts. And honey, I need to see. So I'm highlighting here. I did a uh, creamy beige on the inside and on my forehead and all that. And then I'm using medium beige on the rest and I kind of blend it all together my face this day actually ended up looking like I didn't highlight at all I think that's because um, I use an Anastasia Beverly Hills powder to set it as a powder I've only used like once before and I think it's just not the best for setting my highlight it's too close to my skin color so I free my edges and you see that they look like they're laid but again that was an illusion but I went on at this point and started taking down my braids. I didn't take them all down um, because I wanted to finish my makeup before taking the front ones down. But I think my hair was still sort of damp. So this was not the crispiest of braid outs, but it definitely worked for my purposes just going into the office. I didn't have any special 
meetings or hearings or activities or anything today so a little bit of wave action is fine all right so once i got those braids down i returned to my face i i wanted to let my concealer sit because you know once you let it sit and get a little bit tacky you have better coverage and it just pops a little more so once i blended that out i went on and got fancy and do some contour look i i did this for y'all okay i didn't do this for work i did this for y'all <laughs> next up anastasia beverly hills i think it said deep peach uh, and just try to set my highlight. I think I ended up setting my whole face with it. But now I know it's okay for the face, but not the highlights. And what is next? I think I dusted off. Oh, contour. I set my contour as well. Again, I'm not usually this extra, but here we are. So I mix, um, I, I think I got the wrong color for contour. So I mix it with this bronzer to get uh, a color that's not muddy on my face and when I take my time it it works for me pretty well for my complexion then I move on to blush and that will cover all of my powders and then I set my face with a setting spray I usually use something cheap from wet n wild in this case I'm using elf both are affordable products I am a blush person. If I'm doing foundation, I am doing blush. All right, and so while my face is drying, I went on and picked out my outfit. Um, going into the office, you know, we're not trying to be stunning and glamorous. It's work attire. So boom, there I am with all the braids out. And I'm just going to fluff away a bit and pin it up. So my technique there is to take a little bit, take those big pins, pin it away, check out what I'm doing, take another section, pull it back, pin it away. And so on and so forth like that. It's always important to take a mirror and check out the back of your head. Don't leave the house without doing that. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm pretty much ready for work. I'm going to put on some, finish my eyes and put some lips on, put on some earrings and uh, head out the door. Oh, a little smell good action. <laughs> and that's what the fit is looking like. Um... Excuse the mess in my room. I'll clean it up one day here soon. And I came back on my lunch break to give you a full shot there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.